Hi everyone, it's Connie from Faf Designs. I am going to show you a really, really quick and easy way to stencil drawer sides using the Lotus Bloom stencil, which I actually designed myself. Um, so this is available from Dixie Bell Paint as of now. It's called Lotus Bloom and I'm going to show you how I stenciled some drawer sides using part of this stencil only and I hope it's helpful and you enjoy it. So for this job I'm going to use a round large Dixie Bell synthetic brush. It's not a stencil brush however if you get an oval or a round brush and wrap a little bit of masking tape around the bristles it gives you a stencil brush. It compacts the bristles and gives you what you need to apply paint with for a stencil. So I am using Dixie Bell's Caviar Chalk Mineral Paint to stencil my pattern on and you can see from the video that I have taped off the top half of the stencil. I would only want to use the bottom half and I designed the stencil with this in mind to make it a versatile pattern that you can use. So the technique that I'm using is just a pouncing or a stippling motion. I'm just adding a little bit of caviar onto the tip of my brush, then removing the excess onto a shop cloth, which basically reduces bleed through. Bleed through is when um, too much paint seeps under the stencil and you don't get a crisp line on your design. There's a few different ways you can apply paint when you're stenciling. This is the way that I use the most, but you can also use a roller, you can use a sponge, and you can use a swirling motion. It's personal preference, but this is the way that I use the most. When you're satisfied you've got full coverage of your paint, you can peel back the stencil. Just make sure you peel it back without sliding it over the surface because that might um, rub the paint and it's as simple as that. So you can see here that I've continued that design across the sides of the other drawers. I'm just distressing it slightly with a rad pad sanding sponge to be in keeping with the rest of the piece. Um, if you want to see the rest of the sideboard and how that turned out, that is on a separate YouTube video that you can see on my channel. Um, I'm just turning them over and making sure both sides are distressed equally. And then in keeping with the rest of the piece, I'm going to use How To Do Hemp Oil to seal the stencil. I'm just using a um, piece of shop cloth, a little bit of How To Do Hemp Oil on the surface and just rubbing it in. This is going to protect the paintwork. It's also going to revive the wood on the drawer sides and it just gives a really nice amber tone.
and that's it that's the detail on the drawer sides i included a shot of the sideboard how that turned out if you want to see how i achieved this look you can check out the video on my channel Thanks for watching this short video today. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you found it helpful, hope you love the stencil, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos.